All month long, we are celebrating Memphis and Pride Month. A Shelby County nonprofit just received a $15,000 grant to help LGBTQ plus victims of violence. It's a growing problem here in Shelby County that one Memphis woman is tackling head on. This is a moment Phyllis Lewis has been waiting for. Um, to have outside individuals acknowledge like the work that you're doing, but also um, believe in the work that you're doing. Lewis's nonprofit, Love Doesn't Hurt, received a $15,000 grant from the Community Foundation of Greater Memphis, recognizing the group's dedication in protecting the LGBTQ plus community. Even though, like, as a cisgender bisexual woman, I live very out loud and proud. Um, everyone else may not have that accessibility or opportunity to do so. Lewis saw this closely 10 years ago while working for the district attorney's office. I came in contact with uh, a survivor that had been um, assaulted by her, her wife at the time. This happens more than you think. According to the 2020 report by the Williams Institute at UCLA Law, LGBTQ plus people are four times more likely to experience violent crime than non-LGBTQ people. This report also mentions the abuser could be someone the victim knows or a stranger. But in this case, Lewis said there were limited resources to help. It made me realize that there were some social service providers out there that were not providing um, inclusive and affirming spaces. So she created her own space, Love Doesn't Hurt, where the nonprofit provides emergency shelter, food, clothes, and transportation for victims. Our numbers are between 150 to 250 averagely a year. And the grant money will help Lewis and others continue their mission and even help more. There is help for you out there, that there are people out there that will support you and will create space for you and that will see you for who you are.